Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tank. Today I'm going to be showing you guys Super Anti Spyware. Now this is some software I have been using for many, many, many years, longer than I've been using Malware Bytes. And in my mind, Super Anti Spyware and Malware Bytes are on the same level as each other. One gets more promotion than the other, of course, because it's the more popular one, definitely more promoted. But in my mind, having both of these on your system is definitely a benefit. We'll start with the installation because that's the very first part of it, of course, and it's pretty basic just like everything else. You confirm that you want to let it run, it tells you a little bit about it, you accept the end user license agreement, choose who you want to allow to use it, or you can enter your code there also if you've already registered for it, change your destination folder, let it do its installation, which is really fast. This gives you an opportunity to sign up for the newsletter, and then you have some additional options for post installation if you want to allow it to go for it, do that, and then it pops up and gives you the opportunity to go ahead and start the free trial of the pro version if you want to but we'll just start with the free version and of course the first thing you want to do is to go through and check for database updates because the version that's going to be installed with this is not going to be the newest version and let it go through and finish downloading it usually doesn't take very long depending on how long it's been since you've done this and how fast your internet connection is and just let it go ahead and finish and then you'll click ok and take you back to the main menu the big difference between the free version and the pro version or the paid for version is things like real-time protection and scheduled scanning and allowing it to do automatic updates after the 30-day trial is over it becomes an on-demand scan meaning you have to manually go through and force it to do updates and force it to actually do scans and things of that nature. So if you're just using the free version, just know that it's not automatically protecting you. But regardless of the version, the system tools has a lot of really powerful, useful things for you to be able to monitor your system, like System Investigator through goes through and tells you a lot of what's installed on your system. You can go through and check through your scan logs. You can go under and do additional customization of when you want it to run at startup, and you can have it choose what kind of scan you want it to do if you're going to change any settings when it launches up at startup, and some other notification settings. You can do registry backups and repairs if you did some damage to your system by a malware. And then when you get ready to actually do a scan you have a lot of options too you have a lot of pre-scan actions for what you want it to do before it even starts you have the options of what you want it to do while it's scanning you can choose a high boost or a low boost which uses up a lot of system memory but it makes it scan faster you can do complete scans, quick scans, custom scans, and you can really dive down and choose all the different kind of variations of things you want it to do, what it's looking for, what it's going to exclude. You can allow certain things to be trusted added to that list so it doesn't try and find those as malicious software. You have a lot of different options when it comes to doing a scan. So for instance, you can just do a quick scan and it'll go through and look on just the most common places where you're going to find infections. And you'll see here in just a second, it's going to start popping up a bunch of detected threats on my system. These are just tracking cookies. Tracking cookies don't actually hurt anything. They're just cookies saved by other pieces of software and other websites. It's how you start getting ads on Facebook for stuff you looked at at Amazon. Nothing actually threatening about those, but you definitely want to have them deleted as much as possible because they stack up really quickly. And then once it's done scanning, it'll tell you what all it's found, and you're given the option to try and clean and clear it out if you want to, or ignore certain things. And it does a really good job of removing stuff without having to force a reboot on your system, which to me is very valuable because they hate having to reboot every single time it finds something. Now the company's slogan is remove spyware, not just the easy ones, which a lot of people thought for a while was a dig at malware bytes or spybot SND or um, adware cleaner. There was a few people that thought it was a dig at those, and it's only because a lot of those free base programs you can download that aren't real-time scanners didn't really do a great job of detecting some of the more important malware that was out there. It would find tracking cookies and some browser object things that were problems, so it never found really any of the bad stuff. And then Super Anus Power came along and it's like, you know what, we're not going to make something really simple that's only going to find the easy ones. We're going to make something that dives down deep and can be compatible with some of the top dogs in the business. Now, like I said, I've been using Super Anti Spyware since it very first came out. Um, I got to do a lot of beta testing on it, and I was actually a partner with Super Anti Spyware with my company for many, many years before they kind of did away with their partner and affiliate program. So I'm not actually affiliated with them now. Uh, it's just software that I really, really do recommend. It is great to have installed in your system for those once a couple weeks scans, once a week, once a month, whatever, and just let it do a full scan and clean up all the junk off your system that could cause some problems. So I do highly recommend the software, but do be warned that when it is installed, it will try and load up at startup. 
start up every single time. So if you have a bunch of other real-time scanners like an antivirus or malware bytes installed on there too, that this will also load up at startup. So just so you know, it's always going to be running until you tell it to stop loading at startup. So anyway, hopefully this was at least useful to you guys. Maybe it showed you a tool that you didn't know existed and you can add it to your arsenal to keep your computer protected. If you have any questions or comments, drop it down in the comment section down below and I'll answer it as quick as I can. If you found the video useful, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button down below the video and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.